Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys, and it is getting pretty bizarre. I will admit that. Um, I say that every time, and every time they get just a little bit more bizarre. So, um, yeah, guys, I don't know what's going to happen to Zeppeli. Um, it's not looking good. The name of this next one is Sorrowful Successor. Try saying that 10 times fast. It's not looking good. <laughs> um, I'm sad to say, um, and I got into this last time of like, I would be sad, but I feel like that's where we're going with this. So, um, yeah, guys, a really, really good arc that we're in the middle of here. Our first kind of like big battle arc, I feel like, aside from the establishing battles that we had to kind of get to this point. Um, I will briefly get into my lingering thoughts. Before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, we kind of got um, introduced to this whole little facet of the story about Zeppeli that he's kind of like uh cursed almost or doomed to like die and like in a way I'm like that doesn't necessarily have to be today because like we're all gonna die one day but I feel like they're really building it up in that direction and I could definitely see this being a he steps in to save Jojo and sacrifices himself um kind of situation so um the last episode was really good um I like the way that um, they did a good job of distinguishing between these two nights of like, okay, so we had the one guy and yes, he was pretty honorable and we were able to like break through to that once he was like more in touch with his human side. But then of course you have this other night that we're, what's his name? Tar Tarkus, I think. I don't, don't quote me on that. Um, and he seems like he was a pretty bad dude, even in, like, actual real life. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, but definitely, um, again, you know, they did a good job, I think, of distinguishing, like, okay, we're not going to be able to, like, reach this particular person. Um, we're not going to be able to reason with them. Um, really, our only option is strength, and he's got an awful lot of strength. He's got way more strength, I feel like, than, well, maybe not any one of us, but... Um, if there's anyone who has a shot, I feel like maybe it's Zeppeli. Um, but yeah, guys, they're doing a great job with just the great action, over-the-top, uh, cheesy, wonderful campiness, the narration, the delivery, everything is is really working for me. Um, still not as, like, glamorous as I'm remembering things I've seen about JoJo, but I feel like we're building up to that point. Um, so I will, I will eagerly await it and, uh, I'm just having a lot of fun with this current arc. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Let's do this. Yeah. But like, what do you mean by that? I guess it's like an early death, maybe. Oh, does he? Okay, well, then this might be, this might have something to do with it. Oh, so maybe he knows it's going to be right here. Is it possible, like, we straight up know? Because he seemed like he wasn't sure, but he had a feeling. Not looking good. That's definitely not good. It's, it's looking bad. It's looking bad. Nice. Oh, he dodged it. Dang it. What? Oh! Oh! So what do you do? Crap, he's caught. Oh, no. And it's gonna, it's gonna squeeze him and choke Jojo. Dang it. What do you do? Oh, God. What? Oh. 
he did not, he, no, he, he did not just get, There's no way that JoJo is dead. I bet he did it to release the pressure. He went with it to release the pressure on JoJo, and JoJo's still alive. There's no way that, yeah. There's no way that JoJo is dead. But Zappoli, though, God, that's, I mean, I really thought it would be, like, a really cool, like, awesome, I mean, I guess it's depending on how you look at it, but, geez, it's just brutal. He broke his neck, and he's still alive? He's going to give him the last of his energy. He's going to give him the last of his energy and heal him. Heck yeah. This man is torn in two and he is still conversing. I don't know. How? Yes. That's right. That's right. Go and do this for me. Take my life, quite literally. Whoa, whoa, he's like bursting with energy now. Oh my God, Zappoli, you gave it all. You gave it all. His hair turned white. That's, he like aged himself. He gave him all his years. Yeah! Guess who's back? Complete with tons of energy. I'm sorry, you're the one who's up in the air, so... Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to see you prove him wrong. I just want to see him eat his words! Yes! <laughs> oh! Whoa! That's some superhero stuff right there. <laughs> oh! Wow! So he not only got it, but he like incorporated it. It's just so over the top and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the end of that. Are you going to take his armor? There's no... This man's still alive. How? His training is not really complete, is it? You're, you're the one now. You're the one to put an end to this. Oh. Mm hmm. Please do. Oh, yeah, it's this poor child is scarred for life now after seeing this. He's, he's like, I knew this. I knew this was coming. Really? Wow. He, I guess he did what he had to. That's sad, though. It's, it's all in you now, Jojo. He's a part of you, quite literally. Aww. Hope for a lot of people, considering what Dio's planning. Aww. He's literally going to live on through JoJo. Aww. Yeah. Because at least you loved. No. No. Oh, this will be a really great time for our crew to show up and save everyone. What's going to happen to the mom? They're going to turn her into a, like, vampire lackey? <sighs> I 
I don't think she wants her child to be a undead zombie. Who's going to take care of the baby if the mom is now a vampire? Ah, she's going to eat the baby! No, 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 uh, 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 uh. He knew that was going to happen. He knew that was going to happen. You knew that was going to happen. It's, I can't. I can't. I, I cannot. Dio, I said, why is Dio not dead already? I guess technically he's already dead. I'm so nice. No, please no more babies or puppies or anything. No. No. Yeah. Till it's like a whole town fall. Nothing good. I can guarantee that. That was, I don't think it was. I was going to say, that wasn't his sister, was it? The mom we just saw, but I don't think it was. I think she was younger. I could be wrong. Please don't be a zombie. She is very angry with you. She is, you're going to be grounded for sure. Town is okay for now. Let's, let's not waste another second. He's like, I will openly accept that grounding. No! Dang it! No, please save him, please. I do, okay, I can never unsee that. Yeah! <laughs> Jojo's got, <laughs> Jojo's got your tongue! Are you a zombie or no? Thunder split attack? Yeah, he, he leans into it. I'm so notice that, noticing that as a pattern with JoJo. It's like, he doesn't dodge the attack. You know Zabli? Who are you? Um, we have some bad news about your friend. 20 years. Stray so... What? So he sent for help, and so now we will have some mentors, or at least like more friends. Oh, don't tell me that some. Um... Ah, Tom Petty. It, in person, real and in the flesh. Yeah. Well, he kind of knew that anyway if he predicted it, but it sounds like they didn't know the exact time. Nah. It was sealed as soon as he started training, apparently. I I have no idea what that's about, but absolutely not. I... No. I don't know why they're all human-animal hybrids, but no. Oh! He's got... I wonder if that's the... Uh, is that the sister that he's got? <laughs> Dang, guys. They just can't do anything subtly on this show. Like, subtlety is not in their vocabulary on this show. You're going to kill someone? Oh, we can't just kill them. We have to rip them into with a chain using nothing but pressure and the chain. I honest to God did not. I knew he was probably going to die in this one, but I thought for sure he'd be like, I thought for sure it was going to be like, okay, I'm going to do this super awesome, cool move, and it's going to take everything out, myself included. I thought it would be something more like that, not like what we saw there. It was pretty brutal, but honestly, it, it fits with everything I've seen so far and everything you guys have been trying to communicate to me <laughs> about just just how like over the top the show is going to be and not shy with the violence whatsoever um which you know it's it, usually it's fine like you know I watch horror movies and everything I'm not like it's not that I can't handle it whatsoever but um 
Oh, dang, guys. I'm not, I'm not down with the baby eating. That was cruel. And Dio knew it, and he didn't care. He, was, he probably just did it for, like, entertainment value. Uh, Dio's got to go. He's got to go. Um, wow. But, um, yeah, poor Zeppeli. I'll tell you what, though. You want to talk about strength? It takes some real strength to be torn apart in two. Like Darth Maul. Just severed in two halves. <laughs> and still talk. Carry on pretty much a normal conversation. Say your goodbyes. Give a decent monologue. My kids, that was not his last words. That was like his last, you know, three or four paragraphs. So, man had some stamina and give all of his life energy to JoJo, which, honestly, I think that was really cool, and um, it does make me feel like he's not really gone, like JoJo is literally carrying a part of him with him. Uh, that being said, as you know I was saying in the end credits, um, the only thing that did kind of worry me about that was like, I snap, JoJo is not... They've shown us he's really naturally inclined to to using, um, is it Hammond or Haman? I'm not sure, but energy. Um, but I certainly wouldn't say in the short time he's been using it, he's like mad. Like they've done nothing to show me that like he's a master of it now. Um, so I was really glad that we had some people brought in, some new characters. Not only does it kind of beef up our side and give JoJo a little bit more of a support group, um, but it also makes me feel better in that, um, you know, it's no offense to Speedwagon because uh, he's so much support. I'm not saying he's not a good support group, but, um, in terms of like the Hammond Energy stuff, um, what was he saying? Oh, yeah, not only does he have a bigger support group now, but because of the Hammond energy, you know, now we know he'll be getting some more training. And, boy, like, I, who better than to bring in Tom Petty himself and to train you? Um, but even he's like, yeah, Dio is frighteningly powerful. So I'm wondering, like, what it would look like if Tom Petty went up against um, Dio at this point. Um, cause we know Zappoli, it was like just, it wasn't even a fair fight, which is really, really, uh, crazy to think about cause Zappoli was no slouch. Um, but yeah, guys, it was a really good episode. I'm proud of JoJo. It was really fun just to see like JoJo has that. And I know like some of you would say like JoJo is a little too like, you know, vanilla for you. And I, you know, I get that. He's definitely like the ultimate, like Boy Scout good boy. Um, I, I think it's cool, um, but I can definitely, like, in the, even in the way that he looks, like, in his face and everything, he's giving off total, like, Superman vibes. He definitely gives off, you know, especially when he, like, broke the chains part, I'm like, oh my god, that's who he reminds me of. He's, like, totally, like, a Superman-esque type figure. Only he didn't start off with, like, all this power. He's still, like, kind of getting used to it, and, um, but, but now I can kind of see that, um... But anyway, really good episode. Man, Dio has got to go. Like, just he, he I, it, what episode is it? It's episode seven, you guys. It's episode seven. I'm pretty sure he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Like, this is like, what, four seasons? I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know. Can we just, like, get Dio out of the story for, like, a few seasons? He does bring something great to the story because he is, an incredible villain. Like, the fact that I'm even saying this about him just it speaks volumes about the kind of presence that he brings to the show. But at the same time, I don't know how I'm going to get through, like, several seasons worth of Dio and his nonsense. And I'm really not going to stand for it if some point they're like, oh, guess what? Dio did, like, a face turn, and now he's got him. No, no. I'll never buy it. I'm sorry. He's never winning me over, ever. I don't think they would, though, because they wouldn't have him hurt dogs if they were going to do that, you know? That's, like, the ultimate, like, kiss of death, no, done with the character, um, if you hurt a dog or a baby, and he's done both, kind of, by, by proxy, I guess, if you want to say, because he knew it was just, just what was going to happen. Um, all right, guys, great episode. I'll wrap it up. Um, I can't wait to see more. Uh, we definitely got a good power up here, had some new characters. We're moving on with our, um, small mission of saving the town and our bigger mission of defeating Dio and the mask. So I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. 
please, just as a blanket statement, like, please don't ever leave me on this because this is JoJo and you just never know what's going to happen. And please be sure to join me next time. I will need your help. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.